Since the fire, uh, many things have taken place at the school. Uh, the, um, the, the school has been completely cleaned. Uh, the fire site has been completely removed. Uh, the playgrounds have been completely uh, gutted and re refinished. And the school is in phenomenal shape. So we're, we're ready to begin the school year. Okay. Well, we've reconfigured the, the building in a logical, I would, uh, in a logical way. So we've created a primary learning wing along with a 3-4 wing and our grade 5s and grade 6s are also uh, have their own learning areas. We've also maintained some flex spaces like the gymnasium, the computer room, the music room and we will be creating uh, a secondary library that we'll be using as a, uh, as a flex space as well so that we have spaces for the students to be going. Uh, they will be doing work in classrooms but also small work in the flex space, uh, small group work in the flex spaces uh, and, and they'll be setting up literacy and numeracy stations, numeracy stations in those areas to work uh, with smaller groups of students. Well, we've had phenomenal support from the school district, from Superintendent Joan Carr all the way down. Um, the restoration team has done an amazing job of getting the school back and ready to go. Uh, they worked uh, night and day to make that happen. Our facility services department has done outstanding work getting everything back up and running, the technology in place for temporary technology along with re re redoing some of the old technology. And uh, from a learning perspective, our learning support services department has also done a phenomenal job working with our teachers in terms of helping us prepare for the transition into a different type of learning environment than we've had in the past. But it is one that is very sound and solid and it certainly fits with Alberta Education's mandate of uh, creating uh, collaborative learning environments where students are able to collaborate and teachers are able to collaborate and work together in a cooperative way. So uh, at the end of the day, it really is not any different than what's happening in most other schools in our school district and probably through the province.